Hi, I'm Henry Pihkala, CEO of Streamer, and welcome to transmission number six. Well, it's out. We've got an exact time and date when we'll launch our marketplace. And that is the 16th of May at 10 past 10 in the morning local time in New York. Our pavilion design for consensus is locked down and we're completing our demos, which by the way include robots, a car, plenty of space for our partners, a cafe and more. In the final hours of the event, I will take to the main stage and press this very button to launch the marketplace. And that's when people will start using Datacoin to buy and sell real-time information. In this last month, people around the world realized that society needs to do data differently. So for us, consensus represents not just the moment when streamer can show people our tech and what it can do, but it also allows us to demonstrate that we have something new to say about how the world uses data. Now, I should also say that we won't stop developing our marketplace the day after we launch it. The job of improving the marketplace, increasing its usability, adding functionality and encouraging more vendors to onboard, that will continue for many months yet. So consensus represents the start of continually improving the marketplace. In that regard, we've made several further hires this month, including Ben Shepard as project manager for Streamer Labs and Katie Roden as interim head of marketing. They both bring a lot of experience to Streamer. Ben will help us develop new use cases with our partners and Katie is already starting to help us reach a broader audience. Also, a few words about partnerships. We've announced a flurry of them over the last few weeks. We kicked off with Electrify and Ruvi. Last week, we announced a partnership with government-backed R&D heavyweight VTT. Next week, we'll be releasing further partnership news about a US-based company. Now, until very recently, that company had been working from the kind of old data playbook. Each time you walk into a store or around a city, that organization would help collect and sell that location data to advertisers. Now, in the wake of the Facebook scandal and the changing climate around data ownership, their CEO wants to work with Streamer to change that and put citizens first by allowing them to take back control over the data they generate. We'll say more next week, but this is the kind of partnership that shows how Streamer is really helping others do data differently. Looking ahead in the next few weeks to our other upcoming partnership announcements, we're excited about cars, communications, and what we can do for the world's biggest manufacturers. Thank you, as always, to all our supporters. We hope you get involved in our marketplace when it launches. Just tell us what works and what doesn't. And finally, I can't say it enough. We could not do this without you. So, see you soon at Consensus. Bye.